everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. This video tutorial is part of the series of our Autumn Cal based on the characters in the books of Beatrix Potter. This blanket is called Windermere, according to the location where Beatrix Potter used to spend her summers and where she moved to later on in her life, but also where lots of her stories take place. During this crochet along we will go on an adventure meeting all her friends and crocheting a wonderful blanket at the same time. In these video tutorials I will be making a demonstration size sampler and feel free to make this along with your own stash colours. Each week you will meet five of Beatrix Potter's friends and these are the stitch rows that you will be repeating throughout the week. You will repeat the rows of stitches in order, six times, giving you 30 rows to crochet each week. Make sure you find the colour table linked in the description box below this video, so you know which colour to use for which row. In this week's story we learn all about Tom Kitten, who is one of those exceptionally naughty kittens, not that he sets out to be. Things just always seem to turn out that way. He cannot keep an outfit clean either. Oh my, oh my, what is his mum going to do with him? Would you like to meet Tom Kitten? And here we are. We are back for week five, Tom Kitten. And yes, you might have guessed the popcorns will be back this week because we had them in week one. We had a lighter or shall I say, diet version in week three and now week five we go back to the full fat version of the popcorns um, to complement our blanket, to even it out and to make it look nice and balanced of course. So let's get going. So first of all we have row one and row one kept the collie, he's a familiar face. So we are going to pull through our new colour. You'll probably have a different colour here in the last row, but of course I am doing a sampler, so I'm not following all the colours, just the first five ones of each week. So we pull through the koala, chain one, turn. We are going to do the box for the border. And I think by now you know how it is created. <laughs> and now, yes, kept the collie. We met him in week two. Here, this is kept the collie. He's a double crochet row. So that's what we're going to be doing here as well. So first of all, we place a double crochet around the chain space. Then we place it into the stitch. Around and into the stitch. And of course, not counting the boxes, you will be doing 189 double crochets. And here we are, I have made it to the end of my row. I am now ready to create my box. There we go. Voila. Cutting off my yarn. Next colour is aloe and we're going to do a row, a new row. We're going to meet Mittens, the kitten, and we're going to pull through the yarn. We're going to do the box, so chain one, turn, double crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip one and a double crochet in the next stitch. There we go. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. So in the next stitch, a double crochet. Voila. And now our repeat is going to start where we are going to skip a stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet. Then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Voila. Then we repeat our repeat. So skip one stitch, a V, so a double crochet 
chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, skip one stitch and a double crochet. And this is how you are going to continue all along your row. Voila, this is what it looks like. You should be repeating this little repeat 47 times. You will have 47 Vs in your row. I will be doing six Vs. It won't quite work out for me, but I will be showing how to sort that at the end of the row. Okay, so in the blanket, you will be finishing like this. So you've got your double crochet done there for the end of your little repeat here. And then you'll be ready to do the box. Unfortunately here, I'm not ready to do the box. I am missing a few stitches, but we'll just need to sort that out. So my box will start here. So I have an extra stitch. So I'm going to do a half a V here. So that means I'm going to skip one stitch into the next stitch for a double crochet, a chain one, and then here I will start the box. There we go. And that way we have solved the problem that it doesn't work out for me. I now have six and a half V's. This is the half one, but you should have the full 47 V's in this row. We're going to pull through the color and we're doing a Tom Kitten row. So once again, a new row. So chain one, turn, double crochet in that first stitch, chain one, skip one, and a double crochet in that next stitch. There we go. Now, of course, yours will look different here. So I'm just going to fold it like this. So this is what yours will look like. So you'll just have the next stitch as a double crochet and you're going to be placing a front post double crochet around that double crochet. Okay, so yours will look like this. And then you will continue with doing your little repeat. So front post double crochet around the next stitch then we do a skip one, chain one, and we are going to place five double crochets pop around the chain space here. Now, before I explain to you how to do that, let me show you what to do in your sampler, because otherwise I'm going to go ahead and I won't be able to fix that. So here I have a chain space. So here I'm going to do half a pop. So that means I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to turn them into a little pop and then I'm going to go ahead and do what you should be doing. So one, two, three. So you only need to do this one if you are doing the sampler with me. OK, I've done a chain one here as well. So now this is where you start for the blanket. So the first stitch that you encounter here you're going to be doing a front post double crochet. You chain one. So then you do five double crochets into the chain space. Four and five, there we go. So to make it a pop, we have to pull up the loop, count back five stitches, go under the V, and we're going to put the loop back on our hook and pull it through the stitch there. And then we do a chain one. Then we go to the post here and we do a front post double crochet. Chain one and off we go again doing our five double crochets to turn those into a little popcorn. Four, there we go, pull up, count back under the fifth one and we do our popcorn. So this is how you are going to continue. You will be doing 47 little popcorns. 
So I have just done my popcorns. All I need to do here is my chain one and skip one. This one here. Then of course here we have a double crochet to deal with. So we're going to do a front post double crochet there. Voila. And then we are ready to do our box. And that's row three, Tom Kitten done. So now on to row four, using lichen, we are going to look at Tommy Tiptoes, chain one, turn, double crochet into the first stitch, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. There we go. And now for this one, we are going to do a double crochet in the first stitch here. Voila. And then into each chain space, we are going to do two double crochets. So that means that also here we have a little chain space. So we're going to be placing two double crochets in there. And two double crochets after the popcorn. And two double crochets after the front post double crochet. There we go. So really on the channel we know um, a cluster of two double crochets. We know that as a dainty cluster. So that's what we're doing in this row. So Timmy Tiptoes is looking after the dainty clusters and I will see you at the end of the row. Now in the big blanket at the end of the row you will have this stitch left over and you'll skip that one and then you're going to do the box for the border. Here I have a situation where I have half a popcorn so I am just going to skip that one just as if it would have been a double crochet and I'm just going to go and do, there we go, the stitches for the box. There we go. Voila. And that is Timmy Tiptoes done. All that remains is Peter, of course. Yes, he is our friend throughout this blanket. I hope you have enjoyed doing the boxes rows. <laughs> I certainly have. And yeah, so we are doing a Peter row, a row of boxes all along the row. And in this row you will be creating 97 boxes. I will be doing 16 of them and I will see you at the end of the row. And there we go, I have finished my last row of Peter. Now, of course, you're going to have to repeat these five rows that we are doing six times in your blanket. Make sure you go to the color table to find out which colors it is that you are using. A cap the collie row, which is the double crochets. Then we have a mittens row, which are the V's and the double crochets in between there. Then we have a Tom kitten row, which is a row of double crochets, but with popcorns. And then we have Timmy Tiptoes, a dainty cluster row. And then as last, as usual, we have a Peter row where we create boxes. So I hope you will enjoy doing this rows this week. And I hope that next week you will be ready for the border because those videos will be published next week. I will be making the border onto this sampler here. And I suggest that if you have made this sampler along, that you go ahead and try the border on there together with me next week before you attempt doing it on the big blanket. 
I hope you have enjoyed meeting your friends for this week and I hope they will keep you company throughout the 30 rows of crocheting that you will be doing. I would love to see any progress you make so please post a picture of your blanket so far in the Facebook group Ophelia Talks Crochet. If you have any questions or remarks you can always ask them there too. Thank you very much for watching this video and for taking part in this crochet along. I will see you next week. Bye!